opening up Vegas Pro 18 has really been like opening up a magician's box where I keep pulling out magic trick after magic trick, wondering when this thing's going to stop surprising me. I would just like to remind you, you can buy the software through my affiliates link, and that helps out this channel and helps me keep making not only reviews, but tutorials for these softwares as well. Thank you. So first off, Vegas has been working to improve some of their older features, like motion tracking. So motion tracking has been around for a couple of versions. It's now got its own motion tracking panel, and the panel is super awesome and helpful because you can actually go in and manipulate the motion tracking as it's working. You have a little more control over how the motion track is working, how well it's working, and what it's actually tracking. You can actually see what's going on now, not just see the mask reacting to what's going on. Very, very, very easily take that same motion tracking data and add it to text tracks, add it to picture and picture effects. You can add that information to whatever is applicable and you just click on it and it just works. It just works really well and really fast. And it's so much, so much more exciting to use. Not only is it easier to use, but it just works better. I've just noticed much more effectiveness when motion tracking with this new version. So Vegas has some new effects plugins, and what's exciting about these is they seem to target people restoring video. These are Denoise, Black Bar Fill, and Flicker Reducer. Denoise is exciting because that's something that a lot of people like to do, especially with things shot in lower light. Then you have Flicker Reducer, where if you do have an older film that was actually filmed on, you know... A projector you can reduce or remove that flicker in certain ways and there's different methods where you can do that you can either have it algorithmically try to remove the flicker or you can just have it actually reduce the brightness jumps that happen with the bulb and the projector lamp and you can actually add a flicker in with this now you can reproduce that old style projector feel just a little bit more true to life if you're trying to go for that old movie effect. Now, the one that's really going to start turning some heads, especially with some archivists, is Vegas's new Colorize plugin. Now, this uses something that several of their new plugins use, which is Vegas Deep Learning Module, and it's got AI that's doing some impressive stuff with video footage. So this is just the beginning, as Vegas's artificial intelligence plugins are just starting to take off here. But the Colorize one, in particular, is just amazing how very quickly it can bring color back to old films in a very impressive way and you can use this in combination with your color grading panel and secondary color corrector and things like that where you can create a pretty believable color palette for an old film all algorithmically which means you're not individually masking and coloring each panel which is how it's traditionally done today while i'm on the topic of vegas's ai new deep learning tool there is the style transfer now this is just a big thing because it actually has a lot of different styles that you can transfer to. I'm excited to see how this grows in the future, but currently there are several things that you can do. Now this is CPU intensive. In fact, all the things that use the Vegas deep learning algorithm is CPU intensive. And that's just the nature of the beast with this kind of thing. I did the text stylization to my old intro and it turned out looking pretty neat. There's even more fun stuff you can do with it if you think about what you can do with the finished project and masking and layering. It's like as if it's real and drawn at the same time. I can imagine some music videos highly using this kind of feature. Oh, and I forgot to mention, one of the most exciting things is the UI change. You can now search for your plugin. With Vegas having so many plugins and transitions and media effects, you can actually panel them and search for them in a more efficient manner and even favorite some of your favorite ones so that you can always just come back to your favorites and grab what you need. They have 25 new animations. So these animations have been seen in the movie studio version, and I had a hunch that they were going to be in the Vegas Pro version, and they are. There's also 30 new fonts listed here. These 30 new fonts are a great, awesome way to improve the professionality of your look and the originality of your products without having to go and search for rights-free fonts. These are fonts that you have the rights to now. That's amazing, and they're good, high-quality, professional-looking fonts. There's an incremental save feature, which can have tons of implications, especially if you're working on a project where you might need to suddenly revert something instead of having to undo it a bunch of times or manually revert something or manually save it under different names. The incremental save is an easy way to continue to save a new version every day. There's some under the hood stuff like new GPU driver update utilities and video engine performance improvements. And when you render it, you're going to notice a new render progress dialog box. The new one is really growing on me. The old one, I've seen it for so long but the new ones gives you a lot more information about what's going on during the render. With improved HDR support, it'll automatically select your color palette from your metadata. 
the color grading panel has a few different improvements, including logarithmic exposure. So the way a camera's exposure works, it works on a logarithmic scale. This now matches the way a camera is supposed to work. The color grading panel is now dockable, which means you can move it to your other monitor, whatever you need to do, and more customizability when you work. There is now a skin tone line on the video scopes. That was something that just should have been there and it's now there, but one more than that, you can also move it if you want to. The auto white balance has also been improved, so you have more choices on how the auto white balance works. So if you're trying to work quickly and you want some pre-done white balance effects, you can select them through the drop down menu. You can see the RGB parade as separate red, green, and blue values, and you can mesh those values over top of each other if you're trying to get them to line up. That's a, just a new feature. You now have exportable preferences. That means that if you get your window settings and everything the way you like it with things popping up when they're supposed to and not popping up when they're supposed to, you can export all those settings into another install of Vegas or a future install of Vegas. If you find yourself editing a lot of cell phone footage to black bar fill, it's a very quick and easy way to go ahead and fill up the sidebars that are created when people film video the wrong way. When you save your project now, it also saves the cursor location. That's nice. I'm absolutely in love with this new version of Vegas. I would say if you have Vegas Pro 17, there are probably some features you're eyeballing, especially this new motion tracking. If you have 16 or older, there's a ton you're missing out on. Also, Vegas Pro has a lot of new integrations with the Vegas Pro Suite. I'm going to be covering a whole different review on the Vegas Pro Suite as a whole, but that includes Vegas Pro 18 in that. So subscribe if you're looking for that suite review. It's going to be sweet. Vegas Pro has always been easier to use than its counterparts, but it's not just an easier to use, cheaper alternative now, it's really starting to flex its muscle. And remember, anything you buy through my affiliates link helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're looking for more. I got a review of the Vegas Pro Suite coming out and tutorials about every single thing Vegas Pro 18 can do. That's coming up. And also tutorials on Vegas Image and Vegas Effect.